If I was given unlimited time, money, resources, like all, all of the money, all of the resources in the world, my dream project would be, I don't even know where to start. I would like to create some sort of, I don't know, living Yisker book, a digital history museum. I'd really love to see Jewish art and culture be one of the key entry points that are explored. To show this human connection of the Jewish community of the Ottoman Empire and the world at large. I would travel around the world to different Jewish communities. Uh, Alexandria, Egypt, to Thessalonica, to St. Petersburg. Finding stories from different small villages, big cities, big synagogues, little synagogues. Interacting with our archives, with our newspapers, with our oral histories, with our photographs. We could, you know, if, if circumstances presented themselves. Enable uh, scholars to get their masters and maybe even uh, a PhD. Really make the University of Washington a national and international center for the study of Sephardic Jewish history. And we really could put together an Israel study center. I can't believe it's now 40 years old. So it's time to sort of uh, reach out of the comfort zone, I think, and try something new. My vision is to take Jewish studies and to translate what we do on the university that we've done so successfully, in our case, for 40 years, and bring that to a much broader audience. The head of Jewish studies at Columbia University was talking to me, and I said, are you doing any of this digital stuff? And he said, yes. I tell my administrator, watch what Noam Pianco is doing and copy it. You know, how are we engaging current and future technologies to pass this stuff on to our children and to the future and bring it into our schools? People are hungry for the kind of intellectual uh, complexity that we bring. So for the university to bring in a world-class professor like Professor Nahr and a program like the Jewish Studies program, it's, it's just phenomenal, and uh, it's very easy to get behind it. We speak the language that most American Jews speak. We have to think of the Jewish Studies program as not only a way of looking back, but also of looking forward, so offering opportunities to study what was, but also to collectively, actively create uh, what could be. I think Jewish Studies is the road to growth and success and keeping our Jewish community alive and strong. Ta-da! <laughs>